Hey everyone, this is Kunal from Think Digit, and uh, today we have a review for the Sony Xperia Z1 Compact. Uh, this is a very nice device by Sony and uh, it takes the same uh, form factor and the design from the Xperia Z1 which we had reviewed last year. Uh, it is definitely the best mini Android which you can buy right now as it doesn't compromise uh, on the specifications. Uh, on the hardware side, it's uh, you know as good as the Z1 to be honest it's actually better uh, let's take uh, this one by one uh, first let's look at the design uh, if you can see it has the same metal framing as you've seen on the Z1 the omni balance uh, power button uh, you know chromed up uh, the volume buttons the camera shutter and uh, the hole for the lanyard so this is the right right hand side on the left hand side uh, Sony has managed to add all the you know, ports, uh, the micro USB port, uh, the micro SD card slot, and uh, of course the SIM slot, which has a little tray you know, which you can take out. And this is uh, the, the charging dock or, you know, the magnetic, uh, you know, charging port which you can put to charge the device or you can insert it on the dock. So, uh, obviously the, these come with the plastic covering with, to protect it from water. This is waterproof just like the Z1. Uh, below you have the large speaker. Although uh, volume on the device is not very good because probably because of the waterproofing, uh, the volume is slightly, you know, we, we, we did expect a little higher volume, uh, you know, considering it's a Sony device. Uh, on the top we have the 3.5 mm jack which is waterproof so if water goes in this won't be an issue. Uh, the back uh, was a little, ex you know, like we, we have seen on the Z1, uh, the, the glass back. Uh, if you can see, uh, you, it is already having some scratches on it because this is not scratch proof. Although the front glass is Gorilla Glass 3, so this is scratch proof and you know, scratch resistant. Uh, this does have the NFC logo, so if you tap it here, you can, uh, you know, connect to devices or share your media with uh, you know any other device with NFC. Uh, it does have the same 20.7 megapixel camera with this you know G lens and Sony Exmor RS uh, mobile technology uh, with the LED flash and this produces some of the best pictures that we've taken from a smartphone camera and uh, you know almost as good as a Lumia 1020 to be honest. Coming to the OS, uh, the device actually came with the Android 4.3 and while we reviewed it uh, for our online, uh, you know, the online reviews that we do, uh, we did test it on Android 4.3 but uh, just like two days back uh, we got the Android 4.4.2 which is the KitKat update and we've already seen that on the Z2 which was recently announced. So it is the same update and it looks exactly like that. If you can see uh, the lock screen is a bit changed and you know it has a nice uh, splatter kind of an effect when you unlock the device. Uh, you also see the camera, uh, you know, shortcut over here. And, uh, you know, it, it opens up pretty fast, so that's nice to see. Uh, now you have a nice, uh, you know, the, the UI is pretty much the same. You don't see anything, you know, huge out of the, you know, KitKat update. The, the, the navigation uh, touchscreen buttons are definitely now transparent. Even the, the notification ba bar, this is also transparent now and has the KitKat uh, white colored icons, as you can see. Uh, if I go down to the notification bar, this has also changed. Uh, earlier we had uh, the toggles over here, but now you have you know, separate uh, sections, uh, one for notifications and one for all of your toggles, which is very easy to you know, access and you can edit them as well. So you can add or remove or you know, just change the order. Coming down to the performance, the Z1 Compact, uh, you know, blew away all the competition. Uh, it was even better than the Xperia Z1, the Nexus 5, and you know, even the G2. It was comparably almost as good as the G2. So, uh, in the benchmark results, uh, the Z1 Compact was very nice. Uh, considering this is a mini device, uh, this is uh, spe this is spectacular in the performance section. Uh, coming to the hardware, uh, it runs on the Snapdragon 800 2.2 GHz quad-core processor with 2 GB of RAM, which we have, uh, you know, which is already on the Xperia Z1. The only difference between the Z1 and the Z1 Compact is the screen size. The Z1 has a 5-inch Full HD display, and this has a 4.3-inch 720p display. To be really honest, a 
1080p resolution on the 4.3 inch display would have been an overkill and I guess the 720p display is perfect for the screen size. Other than that there is the battery which is now a little smaller. It is a 2300mAh battery compared to the 3000mAh battery which I think is very good. We got a whole day of battery backup even after using 3G and playing games and you know, watching videos. We got a full day battery backup on the device which is considerably one of the best which we have compared on most of the smartphones that we have. Um, we did a bit of gaming uh, which we can show you. We have Real Racing 3 on this. Um, it ran perfectly fine. We had no issues whatsoever. One issue that we did face was the speaker. Like when you're holding the phone in uh, landscape mode, you tend to cover the, the speaker. So that does, you know, there was this, this was a little bit of a disappointment for us. But other than that, you know, if you have, uh, if you don't use a lot of the landscape mode, then I don't think this will be an issue for you. So as you can see, the, the game runs pretty fine. It's very smooth. We didn't have any issues, you know, playing even even the low end games like, you know, Temple Run or uh, you know, Angry Birds or something like that. Uh, that they were not uh, any problems for the phone. It handled them very mm -hmm. well. Let's uh, and, and coming down to the camera, which is one of the main points of this phone. Uh, it is. Truly uh, remarkable. We haven't, uh, you know, tested any smartphone camera which is so precise. The focusing just, you know, is very quick. It, uh, you know, comes up very fast. And if you're on, uh, specifically on the superior auto mode, it just, uh, you know, captures your settings very quickly. So if I, you know, go in, if you can see, it quickly says that you're clicking a document and changes to a document mode. If I go really close. I think it, it should change into the macro mode. See, so if you can see, it's changed into the macro mode right now. So the superior auto is excellent. I mean, the colors come out perfectly good. Uh, the you know the the, dyna the dynamic range has uh, is very wide, so you get to uh, you know you tend to get very vast range of colors. Uh, you have a number of settings on it. You can even go manual. And you know, play around with a bit of the settings. You can change your white balance. You can change your exposure. You, know, you can even uh, go and change your ISO. Now you even have 50 ISO, which is brilliant. Um, there are some other bunch of modes like the creative effect, uh, where you know you can select a bunch of different filters to you know get some effects on your picture. Um, <clears throat> There's also the time shift burst, which was our favorite feature on the Z1 Compact's camera. So this basically, when you when you click a picture, it takes about 30 shots in one second, and you can then select your perfect shot and then save it. So pretty neat camera. Even in the low light conditions, the camera worked, uh, you know, pretty good. Uh, we have uh, some test shots on the review, which you can check them out. Uh, to be honest, uh, you know, when, when compared to a Lumia device, the Z1 Compact's camera was remar uh, remarkably very good. Uh, it, even in the low light conditions, the camera, you know, captured the colors, it, it captured the details, although not the sharpest, but uh, to be honest, it was very good. The only few issues on the Z1, uh, probably in my mind, was the glass back. Uh, as you can see, it's a fingerprint magnet. It, uh, it's very annoying. To keep you know cleaning the device uh, every second so you know you have a shiny back so probably if you can get a uh, you know like a like a screen guard or something like that for the back you should definitely get that plus this is uh, you know it really is really bad on the scratch thingy you know you, you tend to get a lot of scratches just by keeping the device down but this was one of the issues that we did face the other issue was uh, the speaker um, it wasn't up to the mark. Uh, the volume is very clear. It is very crisp, you know. But 
probably it needs a bit more punch the volume is not enough um, and one more small issue uh, probably which I am a little paranoid about is uh, these plastic flaps now these aren't uh, you know very very you know, they don't look of very very high quality although they do blend in with the design which is very nice but uh, in my opinion I think over a period of time if you keep put, putting it on and keep it off you know just keep doing that it will bring some wear and tear and a, you know, it, there is a chance they could come off or you know they could you know not probably fit back inside so that will be a big loss on your part because then you can't you know put this phone in the water or something like that yes this is like waterproof till you know, one and a half meters and you can put this uh, in the water for like half an hour uh, so this is not a big issue for the water thingy but then again uh, you will have to be careful with the flaps uh, you know you don't you want to damage these things but uh, overall I think this is one of the best ever smartphones that we've tested the performance was great uh, now it's e it's even got the latest uh, KitKat update so uh, there's nothing to fuss about you know if it do doesn't have the latest uh, KitKat update or not so pretty much a great package perfect screen size a very nice display uh, great camera waterproof latest processor 2 GB of RAM probably one of the best deals you can have on an Android smartphone yes it is available for about 33,000 which is a tad expensive than uh, most of the flagship devices that we have right now but uh, to be honest I would definitely you know put this as one of the best flagship devices now it is it is in the flagship device but to be honest you can consider it as a flagship device so the Z1 compact is definitely you know not a flagship device but then I can truly say that you know we can place it on the flagship device list because this is definitely uh, no you know no com uh, no compromise on performance no com compromise on the size it fits perfectly in the hand uh, truly like a you know one of the greatest smartphone that you should definitely consider having